Inside this fairly unassuming looking building, we have a pretty big surprise for Lucy and Reese Charles Barkley. Right. Keep going, Lucy, come on. Keep going, guys. Given there wasn't really any love lost after our last Tabiesco challenge on Lanzarote, we've managed to tempt Lucy and Reese into another head to head, but this one with a little bit of a difference, right? Come on, ignore the legs. Come on, Luce. Bring it back Come up. Come on. Well, it's pretty well known that Lucy and Reese are avid indoor trainers, and from what I understand, they're pretty good at it. So, the format for today will be starting with Fraser and Reese on the run, on the treadmills, and you're gonna be doing a three kilometer run to start off with. You're then gonna pass straight over to the other half of the team, which is Lucy and myself. We're gonna do a 15 kilometer time trial on the turbos. We're gonna then pass straight back over to you for another 15 kilometer time trial on the bikes. And then to finish with, you guys are gonna pass back to us for a three kilometer run on the treadmills. And I think it's fair to say Lucy and Reese want this one pretty badly. <sighs> we're not very happy, are we? No, we're a bit annoyed, really. We were tricked into joining the Tabiasco challenge thinking it was just a casual challenge. No, no big deal. Time to check, guys. Time to check, And yeah, we got our asses kicked. <laughs> I think it was their A race, let's be honest, but I'm still annoyed about it, really. It's been grinding me down in every race, thinking I'm better than this. I could have I could have beaten them in this challenge. And uh, yeah, they tapered down, support cars. Told us uh, the some route to get there. We went the long way, didn't we? They got cars to the start of the race, so. Some dirty tactics going on, wasn't there? Yeah, I think we need payback, really. Yeah, so we thought, let's give them a race in our familiar environment training indoors on an indoor setup, which we do all day, every day. So it's Team Charles Barclay versus... GTM. Honestly, Fraser fall apart. <laughs> and Lucy? Um, yeah, I just want to see Team Charles Barclay annihilate GTM, really. I think it's about time. Yeah. Yeah, they seem pretty riled up and ready to go for this one. We're all ready and raring to go camera wobbles with excitement and trepidation. But it's time for this head-to-head -to, -head to begin. 10, Ten. <laughs> 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go, no, Fraser! Come on. come on, come on, come on! Come on, Riggs, up that speed, quick! And we're underway. 3K to go for these guys. But first of all, they need to get themselves up to speed. <laughs> I've got a job. speed walk to start. What's he gone for? 17, 18. 18.7. Oh. 20. What's he at? 20k an hour for Reese. Oh. Come on, Reese. Sorry, Fraser's, Fraser's warming up into it. <laughs> Good at pacing. So. But once Come they're up on, to Fraser. speed, it's clear that Reese is on a mission. He has gone straight in at 20 kilometers per hour, which equates to a three minute kilometer. Reese has gone off too hard. Now we know that Reese has a little more run speed than Fraser, but Fraser is also a bit of a workhorse. He hasn't been able to match Reese's pace from the off, but he may be able to reel him in later. Do some water Get your in the lead. <laughs> Reese has already opened up a sizable gap back to Fraser, meaning we are on the back foot from the start. This is what a real team does. <laughs> Right, they're looking pretty good, aren't they, Lucy? Yeah, I'd say Reese is looking better than Fraser. Oh, well, I don't legs. know about that. He's gone off at 20k an hour. That's three minutes per kilometre. Fraser's gone for 18.7, so around three minutes 12 per kilometre. I honestly think Fraser's got the pacing right here. <laughs> I don't know. Well, look, yeah. look at the sweat. Really look at the sweat on Reese. Yeah, he's got a high sweat rate, though. I mean, sure, sure, we'll see. <laughs> Halfway, come on, looking good. He's Very just good. there, look. Just I there. See him, got him. See him. <laughs> Keep him in sight. You're making this look far too easy. Oh, oh you're an Olympian. There we go. <laughs> Whilst Reese is unlocking achievements within Zwift, Fraser is still finding his feet. Admittedly, Fraser hasn't run on treadmills all that much, and he looks anxious about going out too hard. So smartly, he has started out a little more conservatively and building into it. So Reese is in the lead. <laughs> you are at oh, only about 100 meters ahead, so it's really, really close. If we do the maths right, I reckon you're going to be about 30 seconds ahead at the end if Fraser holds this pace. Just over 100 metres behind him there, Fraser. Let's try. Oh, oh, Fraser's going up. Fraser's up in the pace. 
Fraser bumps his speed up, although it will be impossible to bridge back up to Reese. Now, Reese has already got the treadmill at its max, so providing he can maintain 20 kilometers per hour, Fraser will never catch, but he's keen to keep that gap as small as possible. Last bit. How are you feeling for the light, Reese? <laughs> <laughs> Two hundred meters to go. I might get myself ready now. Well done, mate, well done. <laughs> See the finish line. <laughs> Fraser's up the pace for the finish. Come on, Fraser. <laughs> Through the gates. Come on, I need the lead. Finish. Woo! As Lucy gets started on the bike, I am waiting anxiously for Fraser to finish. All whilst Lucy is cranking the power and looking very determined. Now over to Mark. Now I tried to keep the gap as small as I could, so I've handed over to Mark with a 31 second deficit to Lucy. Settle in Mark, that's 50k an hour, that's maybe a little too quick. Just gotta get that over that inertia. <laughs> In classic Mark fashion, he has started far too hard, 500 watts or so. And I'm a little bit worried he might be burning all of his matches far too early. 45 kilometers or Mark's closing in Mark's, quick. Mark's sitting at 350 watts, Lucy at 280. How do you feel, Mark? 150. Yeah, not too hard, didn't I? Yeah, careful. <laughs> Settle in. Well, Mark has started to close very early on. Good, they're holding each other off pretty even. But you can't underestimate just how strong Lucy is on the bike. They've really met each other's match here. Come on, Lucy. Come on, Lucy, you're holding him off well. Yeah, my legs are cramping. Uh, <laughs> yeah. oh, that heart rate is climbing. 44 seconds, you still the lead, Lucy. Oh, you still the lead. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Mark. Not even steady, home. steady, Eddie. Fair enough, the best power I've done for ages. Yeah, I'm, even, I'm losing time. Lucy is. That's a lot of right. I mean, a lot of watts. 300 yeah. watts. Go on, Lucy. Oh, yeah, they're great. Under 12k now. <laughs> 3k down. Still at 43 seconds, though. A little bit worried about that. Oh, we're down to 37 seconds. I like it. That's going in the right direction. Nice. Yeah, so it's going back up. Oh, yeah. You're good, it is. You're good. This gap is going nowhere. It's like watching a tug of war. Mark looks like he's not coping too well now, but I know him. He can turn himself inside out. At the moment, it looks like they are riding about equal. So, yeah, Mark's got his work out to eat into Lucy's ride because she's going strong. I'm confident. She's hungry to win after the challenge. She wants revenge from Tabiesco, so. Then you can ride your bike all right, can't you? Uh, well, yeah, I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> Working hard, guys. I think it's brilliant work. Both of you are doing absolutely brilliantly. At the halfway stage, you can barely separate the two of them, but the race is definitely leaning towards Team Charles Barkley's camp. 350 watts. Carlos. It's gotta be a jersey on. The gap has opened out now, and Lucy just looks like she's getting stronger and stronger. Well, that gap's gone up. I'm going to have to really pull something special out of the bag to salvage this gap. It's gone over a minute, Lucy, smashing it. Oh, this is like Tabby Esco all over again. <laughs> so Lucy is 49, well, it's hovering at 50 seconds in front of Mark at the moment with 5.7k for Mark to go at the moment and 5.2k for Lucy. 500 meters between them on the road and about 55 seconds at the moment. He's not gonna catch, no. I'd love to say he is, but he's holding it. He's taking some time back, but Lucy's riding amazingly. 5k to go, Mark. Last bit. You're both riding absolutely brilliantly. So Lucy, how are you feeling? Not Jeff, but... You're only four and a half to five watts per kilo, Mark. That's brilliant. Keep pushing. 15 minutes down. You need to start getting ready to get changed. Yeah. Ready to go. Put some kit on, Mark. See you in a bit. 
one k to go. Push so on. on, push that last 500. Give me a good gap. Nothing. <laughs> What's going on? Whilst Reese struggles with his shoes, Mark hammers on. Having a meltdown. <laughs> Come on! Right, you need to put in more watts now because of that. Go, go, go! Okay. Well, Reese handed Team GTN an absolute gift there. Whilst he struggled with his shoes, I clawed some valuable time back and made a swift changeover with Fraser. Come on, mate. Come on, Reese. Get some power down. Come on, mate. Come on. Get clipped in. Say it good. Come on, he had a bad start. Come on. Come on, you got this. <laughs> Come on, Reese. At least you can't get a punch on here. Just settle the power down. Don't do, go too crazy. He's a lot lower than you, that's how he's struggling to hold the same power as you. Reese has the same strategy as before, right, all out from the start. His power is dropping now, come on, let's keep it. Fraser has no choice but to join him, so much so, they're practically it, powering this mate. warehouse on their own. <laughs> Meanwhile, I thought I'd use this time to drive a little wedge in the Team Charles Barkley camp. How's, uh, how's Reese getting on, Lucy? Yeah, Reese is doing pretty well. It's making it look easy at the moment, so averaging about 350 watts. Got a 480 over it, actually. Are uh, we still keeping that minute gap low? I mean, I couldn't help but notice a little bit of tension in uh, Taviesco after. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I think Fraser's like a secret pro rider, really. But I mean more uh, Reese dropping you on the uh, first <laughs> Well, point. yeah, that did happen. I mean, just but, out of interest, if you were to like maybe think of replacing your team member, what pro would you go for? Um, someone who probably works better as a team, I think. Mm. Didn't drop me, but... Um... Can work. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm setting your train. <laughs> you need to keep your power I'll up I'll just go back first. to Fraser over it. <laughs> Come on, mate, it can work. That's incredible power, 440. You've just been holding over for 480. Fraser is putting out power no one can believe. His legs say he should be struggling, but his face gives nothing away. Whilst I'm pleased to see the gap closing, I am a little concerned about how much longer he can sustain this power. 16 seconds. Oh, he's gone out too hard. I think we've <laughs> Come on, we need halfway. Come on. 8.5 kilometers to go. Nine minutes in. Come on, keep pushing. 8.4 from Reese. Oh, Reese is in the village. Oh, you're coming straight in. And a little turn off as you go through. Okay, let's work this downhill to the volcano. Fraser has put in a valiant effort, and there he is. He has Reese in sight. Good work, lads. So, uh, so Reese, uh, Reese and Lucy, how do you feel about the uh, potential forfeit if you lose? <laughs> What's the forfeit? Well, the you have to do our Ask the Pro questions at uh, an upcoming race. Maybe Kona? Seem as you know all the pros. I'll take that as a no. There he is. Come on, mate. When One he comes fast, get on his wheel. Come on, mate. Come on. Let's get on his wheel. And that's the overtake, thanks to Reese's transition and Fraser's power surge. But it seems that effort might be coming back to bite him now. Come on, mate. Don't, don't let it go now. <laughs> I'm chasing back, come on. Oh, Reese is coming back at you, don't let go. But Reese won't give up, he strains and struggles. He's determined to close that gap back. Uh oh, Fraser has blown. Reese comes back for the overtake. Oh, Reese is coming back through. Come on, Reese. Oh. Come on, push, push, push. Oh. Less Try than 4K to mate. go, we're nearly there. It's 4K to go. Lucy, how are you feeling about the uh, the run? Yeah, I'm confident in my run legs. Yeah. Didn't work too hard on that bike. Gosh. <laughs> Not ready. Come on, push. Come on, 
push, push, push. We've got about two minutes to go. Come on, let's push the legs. Five seconds on Fraser. Team Charles Barkley still have a gap, but it's been significantly reduced. We need to go and get ready for our run, Lucy. Okay, All right. keep pushing. Keep going, guys. Go get ready. Okay, Lucy and myself just walking on the treadmill, awaiting the guys. It's quite close now, isn't it, Lucy? Yeah, I think they're like down to eight seconds, so we're getting pretty tense over here. I need to know what pace you're going to be running at. Well, I'm aiming for 20 and to hang on, but I think that might be a bad choice. <laughs> right, Reese is coming in. Right, go. Fraser's eight seconds behind. Here comes Fraser. Good, Good, Good work, mate. With Mark tagged in, he has got Lucy in sight. There's so little in this. Are you all ready? Lucy's on 19. Mark has gone in with 19.4 kilometers per hour. This is going to be a close race. 40 meters behind. Start pushing it up when he gets nearer if you can. Come on, Lucy, come on. It's going to be close. Currently, Lucy's at 19 kilometers an hour, and Mark is at 19.4. He's gone for the slow catch, but he is running faster. So they are just about 1K in, and Mark is 30 meters behind Lucy. <laughs> Nine seconds. Nine seconds. Both looking super strong. Mark's catching, but this is quite a pace. Mark's drawing closer. Lucy has notched her speed up once again. She looks eager to hold him off. Mark responds by whacking his speed right up now. <laughs> and there it is, that's it, the overtake has happened. Although Mark now has to hold three minutes per kilometer for another five to six minutes, which is a pretty tough ass. Mark has just taken the lead. And they have 1,300 meters left. Mark is about... One second in front at the moment. Lucy's running at 3.08 per kilometer and Mark is at three minutes per kilometer. So if it stays as it is, Mark will just edge in front. But Lucy's running absolutely brilliantly, as is Mark. Well, Lucy's running here and picks up. Mark's going to hold this. 900 meters to go, Mark. Oh, dog's coming out. Oh, oh. I'm getting out of the way. The tension's building along with Lucy's pace. She's up to 20 kilometers per hour now. Well, that is the end of a pretty epic day of bike and run here. Round two of Fraser Mark GTN versus Lucy and Reese. And yeah, it was pretty, uh, pretty full on. That was an eventful day, wasn't it? 
Yeah, that was really intense. Um, a lot harder than what we had planned for, I think. <laughs> yeah, really close and made for a great training day. So. Yeah, yeah um, for you. <laughs> my last training day for quite a while. Um, though I've got to say, I think you guys would have had that today if it was not for your transition, Reese. What were you doing? Yeah, unfortunately, I had a problem. I couldn't clip in and I lost far too much time. And Fraser caught me very early on into the bike, slightly demoralising, but... Made it fun for me and Lucy. Though. Yeah. It did make it very tense for us, yeah. But, but fair play to you. Yeah, you well, you're solid. Good job you're a long-distance racer, Reese. Um, yeah. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy today's video, please do hit the thumbs up button. Um, a big thanks to you guys for coming on today. It's been fantastic. And also to Zwift for this incredible setup. This is the ultimate pain cave we have right here. Um, if you'd like to see more from GTA, just click on the globe and subscribe. If you'd like to see our last challenge with Lucy and Reese on Taviesco, which didn't go so well for me, but went very well for Fraser. Um, you can watch that by clicking just down here.